I'm here planning our flight to Hokkien. It's a lot of preparation every flight. We even talk to a real person, flight service, weather mostly. And so uh, there are a lot of setbacks here. Sometimes I have uh, to contest some of the services that I have at home about rodents and, uh, and no answers. I have three cameras and where is my third camera? I have one, two and oh there it is. Thank you. And so then we go. Checklist for every item in the airplane, outside, inside. Thank you for joining me here and I hope you are uh, enjoying this flight okay. and I'm flying with my dear friend Ashley. She is an amazing pilot and very experienced and she's going to teach me more about G3X and all the equipment of this 172. Thank you. Oh, we have the runway there. Yeah. Oh, freak. Good. We can change that view. I love it. Up to also the center line. Never mind, Delta Delta traffic is inside, 980 Delta. Never mind, Delta. Follow that traffic number two, runway two for left clear, touch to go on to go, flash straight out, expect a right crossing turn for the other runway, cross number turbulent. Clear touch to go, three four left, fly straight out on the go, expect right cross for the small runway, nine or eight Delta. Okay. Never mind, 7 Kilo Juliet, you're now number one, runway 3 4 right clear, setting up. Never mind, 7 Kilo Juliet, runway 3 4 right clear, land. And never mind, 8 5 Mike, it's been down one. 6 5 Mike. Chestnut 1 circle left, that one departs to the southwest, is approved. Proceed direct westbound once you're west of the shoreline, southwest is approved on course. Okay, uh, southwest after the shoreline, 1 2 Echo, thank you. Okay, you got uh, left downwind departure, right? Oh, I, I, yeah, I forgot that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. For left to left down departure. That's all. Star 907 Alpha 10 remote delay, one more two flight clips, take off, one, two, three, zero, five. Okay, now, uh, I have the altitude, I have the... the Star 907 Alpha 10 remote delay, one more two flight clips, take off. Out of our. Eastbound to your past the center lines, then once you're south, our heading was not set on west. So now I'm setting it on west, and now I'm going to go heading. Uh, after the shoreline, line, we can't can go our route. Yeah. So navigation now could be. Okay. We're going to Kilo 7 Action. Roger, you can uh, contact ground point. Okay, so now uh, it's going to get us. I have some stories about my training. You know, I got my license barely five months ago. So my training started in November 2021. As you might know, one of the things that pilots need to practice are stalls. Those stalls freak me out. In the description, there is a link of all three stalls. I really freaked out and this is the route as you can see right now another amazing situation that happened to me 
um, and I realized it recently. You know, I was a fanatic and obsessed with flight simulator. The default airport was 2002, I believe, Friday Harbor. I used to uh, land and depart from that airport. Then life took me to the United States. I was living in Italy back then. So after years being here, I decided to start my private pilot certificate. So I started. And then first things I did when I got my license is to go to Friday Harbor. And I published a video and one of the comments pointed that Friday Harbor was the default airport in that version of Fly Simulator. And then I was like, oh my freaking gosh, it was a manifestation of this in real life. What I was doing so many times in the flight simulator, I accomplished in real life without even planning it. And I came in this area where I didn't know that there was a Friday Harbor here. I didn't connect anything. So it's pretty amazing. I leave the links in the description of those flights too. One of the videos links right now appearing on top. When this uh, video stops, you know what to do. Come back here and click on that. Well, um, Hokuem, here we come.
broken traffic is now 5512. Get cool straight into 24, about 6 miles to the east. How can Traffic says now 5512. Echo clear of uh, runway 24, okay. 